Hi guys, it's been a while since I did a bedroom lap band update, so I figured while I'm lying here being lazy, resting up for Zumba, that I will do an update. So today is February 9th, and um, last time I came to you guys, I had gained a little bit of weight, and um, I had thought maybe it was due to my period, and some water weight and stuff like that and I'm proud to say I'm back down to 214. So coming from 321 at my highest weight, I'm pretty happy. Um, four more pounds to get to my goal of 210 where I want to give myself an eyebrow wax because these girls are out of control. Um, and then then I'll only be 10 pounds away from Wonderland, which I'm hoping to get to by May 6th, which will be my two-year anniversary. So, um, some changes I've noticed. I've noticed that my abs are getting a lot stronger and that when I look in the mirror without a shirt on, I can sort of see the definition in my abs, which is really cool because I never thought I would have definition like my oblique area. Um, definitely a lot of fat still covering it, but I can see the line there. So that's pretty cool on both sides. And um, I ordered a dress, a really pretty dress that's like kind of tight and um, it's like a blouse on top and then like a tight kind of bandage wrap type of um, skirt on the bottom. So um, it hasn't come in yet, but when it comes in, I'm, I'll be excited to try it on. And um, I've also noticed a big change for me is that when I don't exercise, like over the weekend especially because Zumba is only Monday through Thursday and then I can't go Saturday and Sunday because of the time. So when I don't exercise over the weekend, I get so cramped up like my body is just dying to exercise. Now of course I could go to the gym or use the treadmill in my basement, but I usually don't um, and I usually just relax and stuff, which... Um, I'll get to in a minute, but um, I've noticed that I crave the exercise and that I just want to walk around and that I want to stretch all the time. And I even was like the other night, like walking around, just pacing around my house because I needed to exercise. And um, I don't want to go down to the basement. I think it was like really late at night and I just didn't feel like going down there. And I don't know, basements are just creepy, right? So um, I've noticed that when I don't get to exercise, I'm craving it and my body's like dying to move. So, um, an interesting thing that I've discovered, and I think I've touched on this before, is that um, the reason I think that I've done so well with the band and that I truly feel that my, um, will, that my weight loss will stay off is because of how much I don't restrict myself. Um, now it's more about do I really want this or do I want to reach my goals? It's, you know, can I have just a little bit of this and then come back to it later if I really want it? Or um, maybe I shouldn't eat it at all because I had a bad day with eating yesterday or today or whatever. Um, so I still am allowing myself to go out and get the foods that I want and not restricting myself, which is why it's been a lot slower of a weight loss for me. I mean, I still think, you know, a hundred pounds in less than, in like a year and a half is still amazing. Um, that's not really slow by any means, I guess. But, um, I think the reason that the lap in works for me is because I make it workable and I work it into my schedule. I don't exercise seven times a week because here's the thing. Let's say I exercise seven times a week and lose my hundred pounds or lose my 150 pounds, whatever I want to lose. And then, you know, it doesn't become a reality anymore for me and it becomes something that's undoable. And then I stop exercising seven times a week. Then what's going to happen? I'm probably going to start to gain a little bit of that weight back. Um, although I do hear that with maintenance, you don't have to work as hard because you're just maintaining and not losing. Um, but still, and let's say I restrict myself for like three years and I can do it and I can totally do it. And I did without sugar, did without any kind of carbs, any kind of desserts. Let's say I did that for, you know, three years or something. Let's say something horrible happens. There's a horrible death. There's a bad breakup. There's, you know, a bad, something happens in life where, I fall back to food. I fall back to my patterns because let's face it, food addiction doesn't go away. Just like alcoholism doesn't go away, food addiction does not go away. It's going to be with me for the rest of my life no matter how big or how small I am. I'm still going to be addicted to food in a in a non-healthy manner and it's hard for me to say no to certain foods. Um, I can't walk away from them, you know. Um, so if I am unrealistic with my journey and if I'm just too strict with myself, it's not going to last my whole life. I know that. So, um, 
I'm really proud of myself for, it sounds silly because it sounds like I'm saying I'm proud of myself for not being so strict, but like re really, why do diets fail? Because you can't do them for a lifetime. You know, I feel like a diet is good for short term. Let's say you have a wedding or let's say you have um, an event that you need to lose 20 pounds for and you want to do a crazy strict diet. That's fine. Just know that you're going to gain it back once you stop doing it, you know? So, um, when I was talking to my friend who was thinking about the lap band, she was like, do you write anything down? Are you on any sort of diet? No, I'm not. I'm not. I eat smaller portions. I make better choices naturally now because I know where I've been. I know how hard I've worked. Like I just, it just became natural. Um, like for example, my parents ordered Chinese food. A lot of the stuff I can't eat anyway, but I was thinking of like chicken with cashews, but instead I got eggplant. I really enjoy eggplant. It's a vegetable. It's not that bad for you. I'm sure the sauce isn't great, but um, naturally I made that choice. I decided to get eggplant instead of something else that I could eat. Maybe chicken with cashews, maybe like chicken fingers I could eat with sweet and sour sauce. There's different things like that, like spare ribs that are greasy and fatty. And, you know, um, I just naturally make better choices because I want to and because I know how I feel when I lose weight and how I feel when I reach my goals. So I am definitely not on a diet. I don't restrict myself and say no to everything. Sometimes I make better choices than others, but um, that's how it's so manageable for me. And I've always been the kind of person that is very black and white because I feel like in my mind, let's say, you know, a year from now, I hit my goal of 174 pounds or whatever. I Part of me feels like, now what? What happens now? Now that I've lost my goal weight, there's nothing more to look forward to. There's no nothing more to work towards, you know, kind of like that. Um, and that's been one of my fears since the beginning. So sometimes I know I sabotage myself and I'm saying like, like I'll joke around and be like, oh, I'm getting too skinny, gotta slow down, you know, but um. I still weigh, you know, 214 pounds. That's not skinny by any means. But um, I know that if I did it too fast and reached my goal too fast, um, I wouldn't be able to keep it off. And that's just for me. There's other people out there in the lap band world and the weight loss community that are perfect and that can live their lives like that and that this whole weight loss has transformed them so that they are going to stick to their weight and whatever. Um, but for me, I don't think it's realistic. And I've said this before that I cut myself off and that I stop eating cheese forever. Or I stop eating this forever or whatever. Um, I've just sort of done that on my own without, without meaning to, um, without saying I'm not going to eat this or I'm not going to eat that. You know, um, for example, with McDonald's and fast food, that was my vice before weight loss. I, I loved fast food. Now it's just uncomfortable for me to eat. So it just naturally I don't eat it. Um, which is the great thing about this lap in tool is that it makes you uncomfortable when you eat certain foods so that you don't want to. It's almost like a conditioned response because if you eat something and it makes you throw up or it makes you sick or it makes you not feel well enough times, you're just going to think about that food and equate it with, I don't feel well, you know? So, um, so yeah, it's just sort of naturally happened for me over time and, um, I'm not on a diet. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I'm just, I've had the lap band surgery and it's helped me control what I eat and it's helped me it motivate me too. Like the other part of it, like I feel like the lap band does a certain portion of work and then I do the rest. But I also feel like a big part of that is the motivation that the lap band has given me to keep going. Um, I'm only a year and a half out, which is sort of new still because, you know, like I said, I'm still working towards a goal. I'm not at my goal. I'm not maintaining. Um, I think it's once you start to maintain and once you lose enough weight, the only way to go from there is up, which is scary because the only way to go is like to gain weight because you're probably not going to lose a ton more weight once you hit your goal, right? Um, so that's scary, but it's manageable and I know I can do it and I know I can maintain because of the way that I haven't been restricting myself. So that's why the lap band has worked for me. That's why um, dieting never worked for me. I don't think that works for anybody in the long run um, because I don't restrict myself and I don't do crazy seven-day workouts and all I'm going to eat is protein and all I'm going to eat is this, this, and this. I'm going to cut out everything because it just doesn't work long term, I don't think. So um, I hope that that will help some people out there and, um, you know, I exercise four times a week and I look forward to it. Like, I can't fucking wait to go to Zumba tonight. Like, I am so psyched for it. I miss it. Every weekend I miss it. And then I'm, I can't wait for Monday. I can't wait for Tuesday when I get to go because it makes me feel like a rock star. So um, that's why the lap band works for me. Um, that's my personal opinion. And I hope this helps some of you. Okay, I'll check in soon. Bye.